Yeah. Don't worry about it. Josh, we're just playing the entire show to see you wonder, so this is gonna be go just fine, I'm sure. Oh yeah. There might be dancing, it looks like. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is. Woo! Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so the other day, I live in Connecticut, and I have to drive like a mile to the train station every day because I'm lazy and I don't want to walk there. Um, and uh, I got up at 10 o'clock in the morning. I was driving to the train, and of course, I was drinking a cream soda because I'm addicted to sugar. And I'm driving to the train, and all of a sudden, I hear wah, wah, wah. this cop is pulling me over. So the cop pulls me over, rolled out the window. I'm looking at him. I'm like, "What's up, officer?" And he's looking at me, pissed. And so then I said, being black, I said, you know what, I'm going to reach to my glove box and get my registration for you. It might take me a minute, because I don't really know where it is, but I don't want to think I'm doing something I'm really not doing. He goes, sir, this has nothing to do with your registration, sir. Well, what does it have to do with? He goes, you cannot drink and drive. <laughs> Since when? And he gets real bad face, and he's like, you could never drink and drive. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but I do this every day. <laughs> he gets super upset. His face turns red. He starts sweating. He goes, sir, you cannot operate a motorized vehicle while under the influence. And I was like, of what? Alcohol. And I was like, alcohol. Oh, shit, man. This is a cream soda. <laughs> so I almost got arrested. Then I get to the train station. Then I carry this big ass backpack with a padlock on it because the padlock is for the gym, but people think that I'm locking my bag. So the cop was like, we gotta search your bag. This was the same day. This is the same day. So they search, they, they get the little cotton swab out, rub it on my bag, put it in the machine. The machine goes, where was your bag, sir? Why do you have gunpowder residue in your bag? They're freaking out, right? And I'm like, there's no gunpowder in my bag. So they're pulling everything out of my bag. They're pulling music out of my bag. What's this? <laughs> it's music. Why do you have music in your bag? So me being an asshole, I just started singing to them. I started singing, yeah, I just started singing like Stevie Wonder music to them. Blah, blah, blah. They're searching my bag, searching my bag. This poor lady comes up, they swap her bag. So they're searching her bag and people are freaking out. And then all of a sudden the chief of police comes up and he's like, you fucking idiot. It's like, what? The machine's beeping because the battery's dead. You gotta plug it in. I really didn't even know the song, but I was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a song I sang for the cops, so we're gonna try, we're gonna try and do this. I know, right? Just me singing in the, in the train station. No, we had a moment before. I right? see, there you go, right? Yeah. 